Adrid. The pain is thick in your voice. I can't bear to hear it anymore. Just tell me one last thing. What in the world are they doing in the lab? I know I'm not much of an assassin, but to what purpose were my missions? That's not it, is it? That wouldn't drive you to this. So, tell me why, Hadrid. What? What were they planning on doing to me? You really are just going to be selfish and secretive to the end, huh? Foolish boy. it might be more specific to say I let him go. But don't worry, I have no intention on losing him. If an assassin loses their target, it only causes them unnecessary woes in the future.
Mordred. You don't need to come out. Just listen to me. You've always been selfish and reckless. You say stupid things without thinking, and you're a stubborn, block-headed oaf. So I get why you did it. You thought you were doing it for me. But you did it without asking me first, right? <sighs> Idiot! I can't believe you'd do something so stupid! No one asked you to do any of this! No one wanted this to happen! But did I ever say anything? Did I ever complain? Don't just make selfish assumptions about me! So what if the mission was risky? So what if I could have died? It's nothing I can't handle, you idiot! I'm older than you! Why would you think it's okay for you to butt in like this? What? Do you think just because you're huge it'd be okay? <laughs> And all this led to is you getting targeted by both Arcs and the Photoners. I swear, you're such a blockhead! It's time to put this to an end, Hadrid. It's my job to dispense with traitors. So I'm afraid I have to do away with you. Those are my orders. Sorry for the rant. The next time we meet, I'll have to put an end to all of this. Thanks for your help. That's right. Yes, I get it. I do. Even if you don't have a voice, I understand you. Come to think of it, even though you and I were raised like siblings, we've never really fought, have we? I suppose you not being able to speak probably helps. Even so, I feel like we get along pretty well. We were together during times both happy and sad. We complimented each other's weaknesses. We always have. <laughs> but as you can see, I can handle things just fine on my own. So you don't have to worry about me anymore. It's time to close the book on this, Hadrid. I'll do it for you. I'll make it quick, quiet, and peaceful. Just like an assassin should. But I want you to go on one last rampage! A tempest that will shake our core! Your audience may only be the two of us, but you should still be bright, intense, and brilliant! 
You and I live in the shadows. All records of us are erased. So make sure those here to see you remember you for all eternity! That's what it means to be a celebrity. It's what I aim for, and what you've been helping me attain! As Kuna's brother, you have to make sure that you remain in our memories. A memory that can never be dull, or fade. I'm going to need your help, too. I am Kuna, the Secret Zero member of the Council of Six. And I will finish my mission by finishing you. Hello there. Emergency! Code! Due!
this. Don't you dare fall asleep on me. This song... This song is for you. And only you. I'm thanking you, but can you hear me? I'm asking why, here's my song But I'm singing it broken here If I could, I'd turn around And you'd be standing there How could it be we were so close, but now you're nowhere to be seen I'm loving you, but can you feel me? Through my voice, through my heart Heavy now, can you feel my pain? Not once, not evermore I'll feel your touch no more Is this a lie, just a bad dream? No, I can't go on No, there is no I've successfully reported in about the Hadrid job being concluded. With that, the series of troublesome events comes to a close. I guess that's case closed. You want to know what I'm going to do from here on out? The same thing I always do. I'll keep up my singing career. And the extra career that no one is to know about. But from now on, I'm going to stop just doing whatever I'm told. I'm going to start thinking for myself. But... First, we've got some work we've yet to finish. There are other rampaging dragons out there. We have to help send them beyond this life, knowing what they're going through. Hadrid, he always did his best to help me. So now, I want to help others as well. I find myself greatly in debt to you for all of this. Words can't properly express my gratitude. But at least let me say it one more time. 
Thank you. Thank you for helping me send Hadrid off. I'll never forget what you've done for me. Even if you happen to. So I'm going to do all I can to make sure that the next time we meet, I can be the one to help you. <laughs>